Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today we are canning. Okay, so this is a prep a day, can a day kind of a video. So it'll be a two day project for me, but you'll see it all in one video. I have a glut. Again, this is, I would say about the fifth time we've had this amount of tomatoes this year, just the Romas. So these are all little Romas some bigger than others. I have dehydrated. I think I've got a little, oh, I'm on my fourth um, jar. So I've got one and a half and they're half gallon jars. So, or No, I have three half gallon jars <laughs> full of tomatoes and these are dehydrated with salt on them. Then I can turn them into sun-dried tomatoes with olive oil by boiling them for 60 seconds or less. Actually, it's about 45 seconds in vinegar and water. And if you watch my video on how I made sun-dried tomatoes and then you, you season that oil with some dried spices, it's delicious. Uh, it's so good. But I wanted to keep them optional to do something else with them. I can also boil that salt off and make sauce, paste, just add it. Last night I added it to pasta sauce by themselves, sun-dried tomatoes. So you could do the same with these and not worry about it. And these, you do have to vacuum seal them in an airtight container. These have just sat out on my counter, whoops, my counter like this for a couple of days and already I can hear they're not as dry as they were when I took them out of the dehydrator because I live in a humid climate. So this batch though, I tomato shortages are coming and that's what they keep telling us. So I am not going to waste one tomato. I've eaten a ton fresh. It's We've had fermented tomatoes. They're delicious, but I, I want to preserve these Romas. So they're a great sauce tomato. I'm going to can tomato sauce. Was that a long-winded entry? I'm sorry. Anyways, come on. Let me show you how I get this started. I've got to get these all washed. When I come back, we're going to start getting them prepped and in that pot. And I think we figured the guesstimation, this is probably about 15 pounds, give or take. Um, and I'm going to do these in pint jars because that's what I would use most often. Even if I was... Um, Adding it to uh, a pasta sauce or something or soup um, and I needed to thicken it up, I can always do that with, I don't know, throw the dried sun, you know, the dehydrated tomatoes into the, um, well, the whirly bird and <laughs> make it into powder and thicken it up. Sorry. Anyways, or just add tomato paste. So, or cook it down until it thickens enough. So we're gonna make tomato paste or tomato sauce. Come on, let's do it. Okay, so I thought, you know what? I'd bring you back. I have the Fit Veggie Wash that I use in this. That's why the water looks kind of cloudy when you separate it, but it's getting, I don't, I, everything I do is organic. So there's no chemicals or anything on here. It would help get any of that off the skins, but I'm trying to get any, you know, buggy residue, anything that might be not okay. And then I'm going to take them over here. I've let these soak for an appropriate amount of time. And if I see something like there, I just saw a little bit. Go ahead, scrubby, scrubby. Get your, get your tomato on. I've been in here and I thought I handled all of them. <laughs> and anyone that had a blemish or damage I am not okay with that. So I feel I've got a colander over here. I'm going to fill that up and this rinses off squeaky clean. I'm going to get that into that, um, my, get back in my container that I've rinsed out as well. And we we'll just get these all rinsed. Ah, tomato sauce. I'm excited. And I and then you, you don't have to purchase this. This is something you've done. And you are stocking up for Stocktober 
or you know prepping your pantry for the winter time until next tomato season you'd be surprised how many tomato products you might go through in a year we go through a lot in fact i still will have to buy some to get us through i'm pretty sure i will unfortunately have to buy some but if i stock um you know diced tomatoes and that kind of thing i'm i'm good to go and so if you're not growing your own and you don't have access to fresh tomatoes like these beauties then go ahead and and the tomatoes that we've got um these seeds were free i took a chance that they would germinate and they did and we ended up with 12 plants after it was said and done that um have really produced well for us and the romas are a determinant so they kind of give you everything almost all at once so about every three days we've got a big flush of tomatoes and it's just been fantastic so i'm going to do this so i'll probably hopefully get to do some bloody mary mix and um maybe some tomato juice i do enjoy tomato juice i think one of the last jars i opened the other night and it's in the fridge waiting to be consumed the rest of it i'll probably take some with me to work tomorrow nothing wrong with that okay and you can see even though this is cloudy from the fit wash um i can tell there's with some residue leaves get stuck to your tomatoes all of that so give them a good wash and then now we're going to go over and start cutting them up Let's put them in the pan so i'm following the instructions on in the fall book i always try to have a reference book i um i I get it, we have this stuff online on the National Center for Home Food Preservation, but I also like to have a hard copy just in case we don't have access to that. And this is just a good reminder of how long it takes, all this. These will be um, pressure canned, and it's really a short pressure canning. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that, but you do have a little bit of work ahead of you. So I'm gonna top, top these guys, I don't know. Um, these are going to cook down on their own. I don't need to do anything else but pop them in the pan. And I think I want my little handy dandy tomato knife. And put that aside. So if you are stocking your pantry, so I'm just taking that end off. And I'm going to be putting these through the food mill. I'll show you that as we go along. Um, it's going to go through the food mill and it's going to be fantastic. So this looked like it was something stuck on it, but it's not. It's just a little blemish, and that's fine. It's part of the skin. It will come off. Now, I could freeze these, but I'm, I don't, I don't want to do that. If you freeze them, you don't have to worry about the skins. They slip right off. Just take this top off, and you're good to go. Um, but I don't want to. I'm, I'm good. I'm going to. I want all the seeds out, too. These aren't, they don't have a lot of seeds and they have a lot of meat to them. The Romas do. Last year's tomatoes were more of a salad tomato and they had a lot of seeds. So I really had to fight with the seeds, but I didn't waste any of them. So there's that. We froze them all and I canned them up as I needed them. So if you can your own tomatoes or you preserve your own tomatoes, please let us know in the comments how you do it um how many tomatoes you do every year do you are you able to do enough for your family i think it'd be a great conversation for down below so let me finish topping these that one doesn't even really need it if you don't have like that green stem like that you don't really have to worry about it sometimes it pops off when you pick the tomato and then you can take these and dry them and turn them into tomato powder for sure or put them in your compost feed them to your chickens and my future chickens would probably love them in small doses 
right? Okay. Once I get this done, it is telling me, <clears throat> and it, it takes a lot. If you read how many tomatoes you need for seven quarts, which I'm not doing it in quarts. I'm going to do it in pint jars. <laughs> it's a lot. It's like um, 35 pounds of tomatoes to make seven quarts. Um, so we are going to... Mm, yeah, we're just going to bring these to a boil over medium high heat. You're not adding water because they have they have water in them. And we're going to get this going. And I'm going to decide whether I put herbs in some of these. If I do, I will mark the jars because it might be nice to have flavored tomato sauce. Okay, so I've got all the tomatoes. This is a 12-quart stock pot. And you can pressure can these or you can water bath can. And I think, I think I'm going to, because the timing on the seasoned herb tomatoes, and this is adding, um, it's adding herbs to it, but you're adding dry herbs, which does not change anything in the canning process. You can add dry herbs safely without changing the pH, but for, um, oh, it's already starting to boil, um, for... If you added fresh herbs, you're going to change the pH, which you, you want to be careful with that. So I, I might, because the timing, it, I can put it in my steam can. So I might steam can these in pint jars. It'll be perfect. I'm super excited. Okay, so it's already starting to heat up in there. I did have a lot of them, um, probably the last half. I, I thought, whoa, it'll make it go faster. But you can tell, Aroma doesn't have that many seeds. I'd really like to keep this kind of thick, you know, but I'm not saving the seeds from these only because this was, these, this was a package of free seeds. I'm not sure if it was an organic. I, I'm 99% I'm sure it was a hybrid. That's why they haven't even, they have, I mean, they are just crazy how thick these plants are and I've pruned and pruned and pruned which they say you don't have to but I have and um they haven't got any sign of blight so so we're just gonna let these cook down when they've cooked down all the way then we're gonna run them through the food mill and get those skins off I do not like tomato skins or pepper skins in anything I cook just they become tough and not not my favorite so you do you if you don't mind that i'm 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 good with <laughs> leave them on if i had a vitamix i would run them through a vitamix because that will pulverize not just the seeds but the skins and there's nutrition in both i just i, I find that when you can stuff with the skin on even commercially you know you get that piece of skin it's all rolled up and it's tough no thank you so anyway, enough of that. We'll be back when this cooks down enough that I can put this on the, or uh, through the food mill. And then we can go to the next step. I'm super excited. Don't waste anything. It's not worth it. It is Stocktober. Stock up everything you have from the garden. Okay, so these have cooked down and look, this is beautiful. You're gonna see, uh, they just cooked down uh, I don't know. I made dinner and did a couple other things. And I'm just going to put this in the food mill because this is going to have to simmer down a long time. And so I'm going to let it simmer on the stove o overnight and thicken up to the consistency that we want. There's a lot of water in tomatoes, even though these are all Romas. Um, so I'm, I've got my food mill with the fine mesh on it and just getting the skins and the seeds out and if there's some seeds I don't mind at all so um I actually want to cut down on any part of bacteria going into my canning so I guess Keeping the skins out is a good idea. Even though I've washed them, I'm an organic 
gardener, you know, you just have to, you have to do your best. I just don't like them in my canning. I've tried and I end up picking them out, the skins out. So we're going to food mill this all down. So I started with a 12 quart pot that was pretty full. Now I'm sizing down to a six quart pot. We'll see. And I, I, I'm hoping I get more than that, but I don't know that I will. I don't go through a lot of tomato sauce during the year. If I get another round, I mean, our tomatoes have not stopped at all. They are still going. They're slowing down a little bit because of cooler temperatures at night. But, yeah. I'm probably going to do another round of... Bloody Mary mix, um, maybe, I mean, I've got whole tomatoes now. I have, uh, what do I have? I have crushed tomatoes. I Now I'm going to have <laughs> delicious tomato sauce. I'm And I have tons of sun-dried tomato and or dehydrated tomatoes. So... I'm pretty sure I know I have enough of that for the year. So we'll see if we can get the other tomato products that I need. And then if not, I'm going to buy organic tomatoes, diced tomatoes from Costco to stock my pantry for the year. So what this food mill is doing, it's keeping all the skins and seeds up top, all the sauce at the bottom. And it is. It's got a lot of water in it. It's okay. We're going to continue on. And I'll be back when we're done. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. And I'm just going to give you a little short rundown. This simmered on the back burner, on the smallest burner I have overnight. We both got up several times and stirred it and made sure it wasn't scorching, that everything was perfect. It reduced by half, which is awesome. I am getting a little scorch on the side of the pan because it's now heating back up. I, I turned it off at 3 a.m. this morning and, uh, and put that in the fridge by the time I left for work at 5.30. And so now I've got my jars that have been in the steam canner. They are hot and ready to go. My sauce is reheated. It's hot. And let me just tell you, I tasted it this morning. This is a game changer. There is zero salt, zero seasoning in there. And it is divine. It's so good. It's so flavorful. I, 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 I can't even describe how good this is. And it's like, well, why haven't I done this? So it's concentrated. The flavors are wonderful. I did just go out to the garden while this was heating up to see how many more tomatoes I think I'm going to get. And I'm going to have at least enough for Probably, I'm going to guess two more batches as long as our frost doesn't come too early and I get a little, little blush on the tomato. When it starts turning, even if it just turns to a yellow, it's producing the gases that it needs to go ahead and ripen on the table. So I've got my jars hot and ready and I am so excited about this. I've got my four jars funnel. I am using four jars lids today. This is my lid of choice. I have a link down below. And if you use my coupon code, which is Linda's Pantry, all one word, no apostrophe, you will get 10% uh, off your total of your order. It's so worth it. We should be stocking up right now because you never know what's coming down the pike. And I need my lid grabber. Oh my goodness. So I always forget something. I need that magnetic wand. And I've got it. Okay. I've got my lid grabber. I've got my jar, my hot sauce. And I'm just telling you, this, I tasted this this morning after it cooled down. And I, you know, I shut it off about 3 a.m. And it's just that perfect sauce consistency. It reduced down beautifully. And I tasted it. And I was like, why have I not done this? Oh my gosh. And these romas, are, they're not a good just chop them up and eat them kind of a tomato. They're okay, but they're not fantastic. And let me double check 
I double checked my resources for the timing. It's 35 minutes for pints. So let me double check the headspace um, just because you think you know what you, what you know. It's a half an inch. So half an inch. And four jars has that right there. So it's really that second ring or that, you know, that second ring there, half an inch of headspace. And two. And there we go. It's all set to go. I'm going to grab one more jar here. And I am putting citric acid in here. I am not a lemon juice fan. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bottom of that one. A quarter of a teaspoon of citric acid will make this acidity safe for canning. And let's go ahead and give it a little stir about. There shouldn't be any air bubbles, but, you know, sometimes. And, um, yeah, this sauce is so good. It's, it's ridiculous how good it is. So I can't wait. I'm going to be doing many, many more jars, I hope. And I'm going to wipe this jar. It's hot. These are hot, hot, hot. Okay. Half an inch. That looks like a little bit more than a half inch to me, even though it said it. I'm going to take it down in one teaspoon and wipe the rim of that hot jar. And now I've got my, my lid lifter and I put my lids in back and forth, back and forth so they don't stick together and you end up with two on one. Fingertip tight. So really, as soon as I hit resistance, that's all I'm going to do. But look at this beautiful sauce. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to have this on the shelf. And I want, I would love to be able to can enough for a year. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. And we're going to move on to the next jar. But I want to bring you in close so you can really see the consistency of this sauce. And um, tell me in the comments. Have you ever canned tomato sauce and reduced it and done all those things? Because it's so worth it. Okay, I have, oh, I've got a hot jar all ready to go. I'm going to leave that over there because it keeps it hot. That steam canner is great for heating up your jars. I just love it. And they are hot. But look at this beautiful tomato sauce, how thick and rich that is. It is delicious. Oh. And there's a few seeds in there, but nothing that it's going to bother us. I, I don't mind them. The skin is what bothers me. And if the skin doesn't bother you, it's okay. But I was listening to somebody that had a really good point about skin harboring bacteria and, you know, maybe you can't get it washed, completely washed off. She had a point. I, I really, and that's why in the canning instructions, it does tell us to peel the tomatoes. Um, it's probably Part of the safety precautions and a little bit more. I, I hate it when tomato siphons. I'm hoping I don't get any of that. See now there's a skin that I missed and what happens is these turn really tough and it's hot but those turn tough in the canning. Right now they're not tough but for whatever reason they do. Okay I feel good about that. I've already got my citric acid in that one. I'm going to put it in this next jar. And so I don't forget. I'll start it right away. If I forget, you better remind me. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to put another lid on this beautiful jar of sauce. I'm hoping I get six jars. That would be so magnificent. Whatever I get, I'm going to be thrilled with because this is homemade, homegrown organic. How much would that cost you in the store? Hmm. A lot. Just, yeah. And you don't have the choice of the tomatoes, the flavor of the tomatoes have nothing. You're just buying whatever, you know, the powers that be say you have to eat. That's the variety that was easiest for them to grow, which, you know, isn't always the best tomato but okay um, 
Ooh, that, this gets warm, but it's a four jars funnel. It's fantastic. And they, they have a wide mouth funnel, a actual um, sieve that goes down in that funnel that you can strain broth with. Uh, that's a game changer in itself. Okay, so another lid, and we're gonna get that ring on, finger tip tight, get our citric acid in the next jar, and here we go. Beautiful. Mm. Next pasta I make that requires, you know, pasta sauce. It's just gonna be so fun to have this be the pasta sauce portion or you know this pasta sauce base I should say so absolutely super excited about this whole thing mm -hmm. yum okay so tell me in the comments have you ever been able to grow enough tomatoes to have tomato products for your family for the whole year that would be really good and how many plants did you have to have and was it an exceptional year is that why it happened you know all the factors come into play it's it's pretty crazy but i'm probably going closer a little less than a half an inch only i'm just worried that i'm going to get siphoning still very hot the jars are hot products hot I'm, I got four pints. I'm going to get five. Can I get six out of this? Oh my gosh. I knew oh, that would be so awesome. If I could get six, I'd be so happy. Super, super happy. So get my jar over there. Go ahead and stick that citric acid in. And now we're done with that. And I buy this in bulk. Um, it, you just don't go through that much, but it's to me... Okay, is that a skin? Yes, that's a skin. So I'm going to take that out of there. I don't like that. And there's another one. Sometimes they sneak past you, even in that food mill. And that's okay. We, we... Okay, it looks like I'm going to get five solid jars. And I might get... Nope, yep. Ooh, I might get six. This is going to be close. Woohoo! Super exciting. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Any bets? <laughs> this would be wonderful if it came out perfectly six. <laughs> right? Okay. So now I just have to keep you on here for this last jar. I can actually lift that one up without burning myself. So I'm going to get a spatula because I'm, I'm thinking it's going to require something. And a spatula right there. Oh, and I can actually touch that. Come on, come on, please, please, please. If I have to, I'm adding a little bit of water only, I you know, and I'll just have to cook it down a little bit, but I'm, I need six jars of sauce oh no so the spoonfuls that i've eaten have prevented me to have six full jars <laughs> remember that when you're taste testing i suppose right i think i got it pretty clean and we'll take this to the sink and then i'm gonna Okay, I am not unhappy, and I am. I'm going to add a little bit of filtered water, which is right here with my lids. So she's going to get a couple tablespoons of water. Maybe not even, you know. This one will just be a little bit thinner, and I'm okay with that. It's going to be delicious. 
Yum. So six pints. And I'm leaving that at an inch of headspace. Oh, I don't want to go any more water in there. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And there we go. Dun, dun. Okay. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. But you can hold on. That rain is cool. Okay. Now I am going to move the steam canner ever so carefully over to my... And 35 minutes is not too long. I, I'm confident there's enough water. But I'm also erring on the side of caution to make sure because it did it was steaming so i want it i want it full and now we're going to turn this steam canner on and as soon as the dial here over here comes up to the green zone for my altitude and you have to test this out when you first get your steam canner then I will start the timing for 35 minutes. Easy, easy. And I've got my vent here. There's a hole over here that vents steam. I've got that pointing outwards so it doesn't do anything to my cabinet tree. So I'll be back when this is done. I'm super excited. Can you tell? Okay, guys, it, the timer went off. I put the lid so the steam could come out and let it kind of calm down a little bit. And now I'm pulling these jars. These have all sealed. This one in the center has not. Um, not yet, but it's quite all right. We'll, we'll let it sit and rest. The heat's probably centered around that one. And so we, um, yeah. It's got to it's got a get a little bit and the headspace is fine so I'm not sure. We'll see. So, I am so excited to have these jars of home canned, home grown tomato sauce on my shelf. This is wonderful and it tastes so amazing over the top. And now I'm so anxious to have the rest of the tomatoes. I went out and picked some that were blushing and we've got two really good sunny warm days this weekend so we should have a lot more and so I know I'm going to have another batch at least this big and probably maybe two more. So that would be fantastic to be able to put on my pantry shelf. I hope that first October you are doing something to stock your pantry with things that are actually can be in shortage coming up because of drought and all the things that are going on on our planet. So love this. I'm waiting for this jar to seal. If it does not, I'm going to leave these set till tomorrow morning. I'll take the rings off. I'll wash them. And if this one does not seal by the time we go to bed, well, I'm going to take the I'll just take it and put it in the fridge and I'll make something with it. Or I can seal it in, um, vacuum seal it in the wee vac. And then I have tomato sauce that's in the freezer. So either way, I have not wasted a thing and it's going into my food preservation for Stocktober. So Stocktober is an open collaboration brainchild from Lisa from Sutton's Days and um purposeful pantry sorry i was drawing a blank they they came up with this and i think it's fantastic because after preparedness month of september we should be stocking our pantries and really thinking about what we need for winter i'm not going to have tomatoes again until next year about this time i need to put every bit of the tomatoes on my shelf that I can. So, okay. We'll see you next time for another delicious recipe. And when I use this, I'm bringing you along. All right. Bye. 
This is by far the best tomato sauce I've ever had, and I hope you try it. I hope if you're not a subscriber, you'll hit that subscribe button.